good morning my dear students so in this ppt i am going to explain you about uh, what do you mean by additives what are the that is uh, what are the additives what is the main purpose of additives why we are going to use additives okay and second part is uh, what is the effect of temperature and pressure on a hydraulic fluid power system okay so normally what additives additives are used many purpose okay to get these are the substances which are added to the uh, one substance one substance one substances to another substances to get some quality or to improve the property or to improve the test okay so that is about the additives okay so yes, it is additive is a substance that is added directly to a um, given substances that is during working that is during processing for a preservation or coloring or stabilization okay so uh, it is called as an additives okay so why additives are used additives are used for a variety of reason okay normally number of variety of reason it is not used for particularly particular job or particularly particular uh, reason okay mm, they are added to a if you take any food for example if you consider a food means they are added to a food for example to announce the taste or color to prevent a spoilage of the given quantity okay so these are they added to the gas for example these are added to the gasoline to reduce the emission of greenhouse gases and to plastic to enhance the molding capability okay so here it is additives are used in various process either it food or chemical or properties whatever may be okay so that is about the additives okay so here what are the additives okay so various various additives are used added to the fluid to sustain the important characteristics or to uh, Mm, to improve their characteristics or properties or to change the color or to reduce the harmful effect okay na so here some of the name listed here additives are i shown here so four additives so here four up to four seven mm, up ten okay here first one is uh, uh, anti foaming so the anti foaming additives these are the different types of additives okay in the in examination they may ask you what you mean by additives explain the any five um, additives and their uses okay so here first one is an anti foaming so here uh, they are added to reduce the foaming uh, of fluid okay so this uh, is uh, used in a these are mixed with an a fluid to reduce a uh, foaming okay so second one is the anti wear so here uh, this uh, type of additives are used to that is to wear the resistance chemical are added to the fluid to protect critical hydraulic component from wear okay so some uh, additives are used to reduce the wear tear of the hydraulic component okay uh, next uh, third one uh, third one is a corrosive inhibitor so uh, chemicals are added to protect the surface from chemical attack by water okay so bio bio seed okay so here in this the emulsifying chemicals are added to the fluid to inhibit the growth of water bone bacteria okay to remove the bacteria by this we can uh, this additive are going to use okay next one is uh, emulsifier okay so this is a type of uh, additives and these are added to the um, facilitate formation and stabilization of an emulsion okay uh, next sixth one um, sixth one is lubrication oilness uh, agent okay so here it is shortly called as ep that is the extreme pressure agent are added to a fluid to announce the lubrication characteristics for an effective full film bound lubrication between the mating two parts okay to, it, it, in between the two parts there is a corrosion takes place to reduce that a lubrication is supplying okay in between the two parts of a hydraulic component and next one is a flocculant okay so this is a type of chemical and the chemical is added to the uh, di uh, dispersion of a solid in a liquid to combine fine particle to form a flow or small solid masses into the fluid so this is a, this is the additives are used to join the two small particle into the hydraulic power system and next uh, uh, here's one is a uh, deionization okay so here in this uh, additives the elements which provide the hardness like calcium magnesium iron and um, aluminum salt are removed through the uh, deionization of the water by using this we can uh, remove the deionization of water in the substances okay water from the substances next one ninth one is oxidation inhibitor okay so here in this uh, antioxidation additives are added to provide an antioxidation characteristics oxidation changes the chemical characteristics of the fluid if you using this we are going to change the chemical reaction fully okay so to get some improve okay so next one last one is a vapor phase inhibitor so by using this additive we are going to prevent the oxidation or corrosion of a metal in contact with the vapor phases of the liquid is ensured by the addition of the appropriate chemical okay so with the help of this we are going to prevent the oxidation or corrosion in the metal okay next one is uh, okay this is about the additives and the different types of additives just to remember that additives is nothing but you are going to these substances added to the another substances to get improve some property or some characteristics or some to change some color okay so that is about the additives and different types of additives, additives are there i listed here okay 
सो सेकेंड टॉपिक इज वॉट इज द इफेक्ट ऑफ टेम्परेचर एंड प्रेशर ऑन हाइड्रोलिक फ्लू ओके इफ द टेम्परेचर इज इंक्रीजेज वॉट गोइंग टू हैपन इफ द टेम्परेचर प्रेशर इज इंक्रीजेस वॉट गोइंग टू हैपन एंड वॉट इज डिक्रीजेस इंक्रीज ओके डज टेम्परेचर इफेक्ट द हाइड्रोलिक स्पोर्ट सिस्टम दिस इज द क्वेश्चन if your system is not performing uh, properly so it is an issue of within temperature that needs to be investigated and addressed okay when most uh, when most of the people think that uh, think that the effect of temperature on hydraulic their immediate thought in a uh, thought is heat okay however that is a cool temperature can we have devastating and devastating and devastating effect on hydraulic system well okay so if you know if you are going to working in hydraulic power system it is not working properly means uh, so normally people will thought that the temperature is very high mm. so uh, to this temperature it may affect and but it is not like that we are going to see all the parts boom what you check whether which part is going to uh, damage why it is not working okay so the temperature may be also sometimes they may affect but it is not in the proper if we, uh, in the in not proper um, temperature okay we have to operate the minimum temperature whatever the given of hydraulic power system is there what is their capacity we are uh, according to that cap hydraulic power system capacity we are going to work okay next what does uh, what effect does temperature have in the viscosity of an hydraulic power system okay so the most immediate uh, effect of the temperature involves the viscosity so fluid is nothing but the viscosity that is fluid uh, can be determined based on the viscosity okay so viscosity of the fluid okay so cold temperature will increases the fluid viscosity making it thicker high temperature on the other hand uh, will decreases the viscosity of the fluid such as changes in the viscosity can quickly lead to permanent damage to the hydraulic system and its component okay if the viscosity is less of the fluid the fluid viscosity is very less then it will may get damage of the hydraulic components okay next one is what causes a hydraulic uh, fluid uh, to drop okay so normally the hydraulic uh, circulate in a hydraulic power system the hydraulic uh, fluid is uh, circulated around among the system so high oil viscosity causes a drastic drop in the oil so that is static pressure and uh, as suction draws the oil into the pump inlet okay next one is uh, and this, due to this pressure the pressure reduction result in the creation of a vapor bubbles and causes the air normally dissolved in the oil to be deabsorbed and become a, uh, entrained as an air bubbles okay so during this <coughs> some uh, oil is not mixed properly uh, in the pipe there is a chance of leakage and bubble takes place due to this uh, entire hydraulic power system can get uh, damage okay second one is a pressure okay so normally uh, here the pressure so what is this? the pressure effect hydraulic power system yes the hydraulic power fluid that is too viscous generate a more friction and heat and usually causes the high pressure drop okay uh, sluggish operation that is sluggish operation is nothing but uh, sudden change okay so sudden uh, operation along with this and low due to this a low mechanical efficiency we can get and high power consumption we are going to take the very much high power from the given system okay on the other hand uh, the low viscosity fluid permit the efficient flow drag operation but tend to increase the wear and reduce the volumetric efficiency and promote the leakage okay if you use a low viscosity of fluid we can going to uh, promote or we are going to stop we are going to prevent the leakage of fluid in the pump okay so the, by this is also pressure this is about the pressure okay next one is what are the causes uh, if the heat generation it takes place more in hydraulic power system then what is the causes of for that okay so the main causes of that one is um, here first causes uh, improper lubricated components uh, okay the components which are going to assemble that is not in proper uh, fashion due to this there is a chance of heat generation okay for example not enough lubrication or not in the right kind okay second one is the use of fluid with a too high viscosity of the system resulting in friction within the fluid if the fluid viscosity is high if you are going to use such type of fluid then it may causes the entire system okay next third one is use the fluid uh, with a too low uh, viscosity that fails to protect the surface from the excessive wear okay even you are going to if even if you are going to use low viscosity also it may affect and high viscosity of the fluid also it may affect but you are going to use according to the given work what we are going to complete okay based on that we are going to select the fluid okay so fourth one is a pressure activated piston seal uh, this is also may affect next fluid passing through a contracting or orifice or restriction at high speed and sixth one is a fluid flowing through a restricted passage okay so these are the some uh, causes of a heat generation in a hydraulic power system okay these are the six main uh, component so improper component fixing and use of uh, fluid 
with a high two viscosity and use a fluid with a two low viscosity uh, both you are going to if you are using means there is a damage of uh, hydraulic power system okay and pressure activated piston okay these are the some of the causes of hydraulic power system okay that is a heat generation with respect to heat generation i think i hope you understand this uh, thank you